Hey guys, it's Shelly here with Payback at Blogspot.com. So I'm going to do just a quick haul video. Um, yesterday was Saturday. I had some time after I got off work um, to do some shopping. My husband took my little boy to um, the Amazing Pizza Machine. And then, um, so they were out pretty late. So after my overtime yesterday, I then um, had an appointment and then went shopping. So I hit Hobby Lobby. Joann's and Archivers. So I just wanted to share with you guys the few things I picked up yesterday. I'm going to do my Hobby Lobby haul first. Hobby Lobby had, let's see, two packs of these canvases, which are, I can't remember the dimensions of, they were on sale though for like $7.99 for two of them. And so I got those. And then I got some paint. I got some Liquitex acrylic heavy body in titanium white and this is a bigger bottle than I normally get. This is 4.65 fluid ounces um, yesterday and then I also got some heavy body burnt umber in the Liquitex acrylic and then I got raw umber and I got this Master's Touch, which is the, I think it's like a different brand. Um, I've never tried this brand yet, but I really like that color, and it's called Flush Yellow. Um, so I just grabbed that, and that's a, just a normal acrylic. It's not a heavy body. Um, and I also saw these little Americana Accessory 3 2-ounce squeeze writer bottles. Um, and I was thinking I could use those for some modeling paste. They were like $3.49, and I think they were 50% off or something for their craft stuff. And then I also picked up this set of brushes, mostly because I want, I need a big wide one like that, one and a half inch one for when I gesso things. Um, so basically that's the only one I wanted, and it was, I think it was on sale as well. Um, so that's everything, I think that's everything, pretty sure that's everything I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, with, and then the two canvases. I'll get those out of the way. And then I went to Archivers and I picked up a couple things. This is the Pumpkin Mini Markets in orange and black. Um, I think this is from the Witch Hazel collection. And I wanted some individual sheets of Witch Hazel. Um, they didn't have the individual sheets at Archivers, which I was kind of surprised about, to be honest with you. I, they only had the collection pack, so I could have bought the entire you know, collection with the stickers and everything. And I had a 30% off coupon, so it would have only, I mean, they were normally like 22 or something like that, the 30% off, but I just didn't, I don't think I need, I still have a ton of Halloween papers from the last two years, so I didn't want to go crazy on that, but I did get them in new markets, because I think these orange and black are going to be pretty versatile. I can use those on lots of things, because um, I do tend to use a lot of orange. I do like orange. Um, and then I also picked up these Julie fabric stickers. Um, I've eyed them the last couple times I've gone in there, so I just went ahead and got them this time. That's what they look like. I'm sure everybody's seen them. I think they're super cute. This little love ticket is adorable. Happy little life. Cute, cute. And then I also picked up the core corresponding um, printed chipboard shapes. There's 20 of them. Look like that. I'm sure you've all seen these, right? I gotta pick those up. And then I also picked up these Amy Tan Remarks Cute Overload um, because I really, really like the ones that I got in my Studio Calico kit in the um, neutral tone, so I went ahead and bought them in the colored ones as well, because I really like the orange that's in here too, um, and, the, and the blues, and the green, I like it all, the yellow, I like it all, so I went ahead and grabbed one of those, and then I also got, they just got in their Snap products, Snap Studio, um, that's the, the packaging, and it comes with three, wait, eight sheets of four by six, Stickers, cordon, um, okay, I'll, I'll go through them real quick, but here's the pink and brown, and they're pretty much all the same except for different colors, and some of them are multicolored. So there's the orange, 
There's the green and brown. I like that green. It's kind of an olivey green. I really like it. There's the mustardy yellow. It's so pretty. There's a, a true red. Really, really cool. And then a teal blue or turquoise or whatever you want to call it. And here's the multicolored one. Was that eight? I think that was all eight. Let's see. Two. Yeah, that was all eight of them. So those all came in one package. So that's a ton of labels for lots of layering, and they were only like five bucks. So got that at Archivers. And then the last thing I picked up at Archivers was this um, Echo Park style essentials papers. Um, and they're basically just four different colors, gray, black, t um, turquoise blue, and yellow. And then they all have the same patterns. And they're just essentials for like layering and stuff. And I really like the grays. I don't have a ton of gray cardstock yet, so I'm kind of picking some up as I see them. And I just really like all of these patterns a lot. So those are the three gray ones. And here's the turquoise blue. This one's kind of a tone on tone. The chevron one is white, and each of them is white and whatever the color is. And then the other two are kind of a tone on tone. So here's the yellow and white in the back. And then the rest of the two, the other two yellows are yellow and light yellow. You see that pattern? The patterns are the same on all of them. And see, this one's a yellow and yellow. It's not white, which I really liked. And I use it mostly cream or ivory colored stock, it seems like. I do have some avalanche, but. And then there's the black and gray. And the black and gray. So I picked that pack up because they were $10 or something like that. And then I, I think that's what I used my 30% off coupon on. So they were like 6 bucks for all those. Which I think will be nice for layering. Oops, my little sign fell over. Can't have that. It's one of my favorite things in the world. So, Alright, and the last place that I stopped was Hobby Lobby. Um, pretty much everything in their store was on sale because they had a 60% off any regular priced item. Which was pretty hard to find. So, um... I bought these two Sculpies. They were like buy one get one free or half off or something like that. So but yeah, I think you had to get two. So I got two of those. I got this craft designer wire. 10 yards of 18 gauge wire for some jewelry projects I've been working on with some polymer clay and some leather. And then I got the Amy Tan Remarks High Friend. The 14 stickers. That is so stinking cute that I can hardly stand it. And this little library card. <laughs> and then this little Rolodex. I'm pretty much in love with this whole thing. So cute. And Dream Big. I just really love that. Um, and then I picked up... I didn't get the actual bin that these are supposed to go in, but I, these art bin stores designed for creative minds. Magnetic sheets securely hold dies in place. So I picked up two packages of three, and they're normally like seven or eight bucks, and I got them for like four or whatever. So they were half off. So then I opened one and put all of the dies that I have right now on them. So there's one, two, and three. And that's pretty much all of them that I have, I think. And then these are, you know, extras for either using my tin pins or or my buttons or badges or whatever you call them, or um, any future, I think I might have a couple more nest abilities, but I'm not sure where they are, so clearly they don't get used a ton. Um, so I picked up two of those just because I thought that was a really good value, um, with them being 50 or 60% off or whatever they were, so got those, and now I have to go get the little container that holds them. And then the last thing I picked up at Hobby of Nope at Joann's is this another Melody Ross package and really I got the whole package for the little chipboard pieces that are included because I really love them and I've been eyeballing it for a while but I thought do I need to buy all that paper and stuff just to get those but yeah I did because they were six, 40 or 60% off or something like that so I went ahead and grabbed them and it comes with what does it come with One, four 12 by 12 designer papers two 12 by 12 specialty papers two 6x9 sheets of glitter letter stickers, one 12x12 12 12 sheet die cut borders, and one 6x9 sheet chipboard stickers. 
actually two six by nine chipboard shapes that I'll show them to you. This is one of the um, papers. She seeks out what she wants out of life. And then here's the back side, which is really pretty. And then this next paper is my very, very best favorite paper ever, like of all time. I love that paper. It's so pretty. And then there's the back of it. And then this next piece looks like this, which is also stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then the back side has all these sweet words. They really are sweet words. In pink. And then this green one with this um, white and green color on the back. And then this flocked paper I actually used on one of my previous canvases. I used this bottom piece here. And then there's what the other side looks like. And then the final. Oh, this. Yeah, this piece, which is super bright and pretty, and the pink on the background. And then these, well, this sheet here is the border stickers, and I'll show you in the back how it's this kind of like scalloped um, die cut. So that's those, and the reason that I got them, oh. and then here's the little sticker letters. They're pink with glitter. I don't know that I will ever use these, but... <laughs> There, there's two sheets, they're just not back to back. And then the reason I picked this up is because look at these birds. They're chipboard and they're so pretty. They make me so happy. So I had to get them. I had to get those birds and I had to get these little circle chipboard pieces too. These are probably about an inch and a half wide. I guess maybe. I just love all of Melody's stuff. They're so sweet. And this is from her soul food collection. It's all okay. I choose happy. Make something better. For your soul. It's so cute. So I think that's everything I got in my haul. And my little shopping spree yesterday. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. And um, I just want to mention that. I found out yesterday that they're putting up a Hobby Lobby like five minutes from my house. Um, it's They just um, leveled the ground up there and we were like, what are they going to put in there? Turns out they're putting it up in a Sands Club, a Sands Club and a Hobby Lobby, a brand new Hobby Lobby like literally five minutes from my house. So uh, I was kind of excited about that. My husband was groaning. He's just like, oh geez. Because right now, I mean, Joanne's, I'm, I'm, Nothing's that far, and, and I pretty much have my choice of stores to go to, but Joanne's and some of those places are a little bit further out west than I typically would go on a day-to-day -day basis, so to find out Hobby Lobby's moving that close, I don't think he was super stoked about that, but it'll be alright. <laughs> okay, guys, I just wanted to pop on real quick and do a quick haul video so that I could start using some of this stuff, because um, some of these things will work with the layout that I'm working on of my son. And so I'll try to get back on in the next day or so, or maybe even next weekend if it takes that long um, to get the layout done with that once it's finally completed. I appreciate you guys watching tonight, and I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead of you. Thanks, guys.